morning guys, it's January the 29th, I'm Henry Green from London Trading Group and I'm just going to whip through what I'm looking for for this Friday's coming trading session. So just quickly to start at 3.38 this morning, the Bank of Japan released its monetary policy statement and in that they, they released new measures for their easing, so obviously easing hasn't worked, they've not created enough inflation, they're not going to hit their inflation target and also potentially they're going to go into negative rates uh, next month. So it's something that Eurozone have done and they were sceptical to go into straight away but they seem to be going into that now uh, and as a consequence look what Dolly N's done. So we've kind of lifted from 118.60 all the way up to 121.30 uh, so big old move in Dolly N. Uh, and more importantly, big, a big move in the yen. And unfortunately, that's taken my pound yen up to 174, which was my call for the start of the week. I loved it up to 174. Everything was pointing there. And look what's happened. It's hit 174 um, pretty much to the nose. We are pretty much hanging around there now as well. So 173.80, we got up to 174.20. But yet, all the technicals had lined up at the start of the week. We said 174, and there it's gone. So just a perfect, uh, perfect time where... The fundamentals have lined perfectly up with the technicals uh, and as such we've had that kick up all the way up to 174 and there's been sort of a 500 pip move that we could have got there. Uh, very interesting market but one that we kind of call on the technical side of it and it's happened. So let's start with the euro dollar again as we usually do. Back up to these highs. These, we're, we're back up into the sell zone in euro. I like this up here. I think it's good levels. 109.40. On the day we're at the 100 moving average. We've tested that. The one that's held so well. We're up at that good level of resistance. 109.40. Hit the D like we said. That, that D up at 109.60 was a very good D to hit. We hit it, we backed down, we kind of tested 108.80 and this could now have a, have another fake push up to 109.50, 70 area where I'll then be looking to sell it back down towards the lows. So let's see what happens in that one but certainly we might get a pullback and then roll over but this is a good zone to be selling uh, Euro dollar at the moment because I think 109.80 is definitely the top side of this but obviously through that 110.25 which we've talked about through there that's the key break and that's what that is that is the, the trade that you have to be wary of um, in terms of the long side. So cables rallied as well. The D is now going to be taken on at 144.80. Is that a good level? Yep, I think I've got it as good level. Yeah, 145 is my next one, my, my, uh, my next level up. Then we got 146.30, and through that, then we I, I would expect the D to be taken on. Well, the 38 in terms of the smaller, smaller time frames um, up at 147. So. Pretty interesting market in cable as well. I've just moved my past market angle out because we had that false break through it. So I've just pushed it out a bit. And now this is going to be acting as my support line. We are making these nice high highs and high lows. So this market's um, pulled back perfectly to the 38. And now I would expect this to go up and take uh, the D on. Which also, this dotted line is my DTR, which is just the daily trading range, guys. So something which you can uh, build for yourself if you've gone for XP Sami. Um, find the average volatility in terms of pips for the last X amount of weeks, project that from the high and the low, and that will give you this uh, figure. So we've just had it programmed um, here, and it's something that's yeah pretty useful. So when those confluence levels that we've talked about uh, line up perfectly, that's where we think it's going. So again, wait a pullback, um, maybe buy through the highs in cable, um, but we're looking to say that up to sort of 144.80. Yeah, I like that as a zone. Uh, obviously, we've got a good level here at 144, so just be wary of this. This is the 100 level as well, so just be careful. Dolly M, we've talked about, gone all the way up to 121.30. This is now overextended, and I won't be able to get in this because, in terms of risk to reward, it's not worth my time being in this. So, we have hit the D, and we have also pulled back to the 38. So, we could get a first push up to maybe 122, and that's where I'd expect this to hold. But I need a, bit, I need a deeper swing to get into this uh, for me. This is, a, this is too risky almost to take, although I do think now Dolly Yen is on a path probably all the way up to 123.50 and that's what we're going to wait for. Dollar CAD, interesting. This looks like it's just rolling over. We ha have hit the 127 and pulled back again, um, but maybe we now go and take the D on. And so the D is down at 138.65, um, which I have as a good level as well. So in Dollar CAD, oh, let me just get that up on my daily so I can tell you my exact levels. 139 is my next level down. Uh, and obviously 138.85 we could just blip through and then close back at the level so that's a perfect um, perfectly good idea to, to try and dollar cad so again how would we get into it well I'd be looking for a 15 minute counter trend line break so I expect this to bounce somewhere in this zone uh, and then I'd be looking to take it take it lower on a, on a formation of a lower high so just a lower swing high and obviously this market is massively driven by oil oil's had a very good week um, WTI crude at the moment is at 34.50. I've got my first swing up towards 36.50, um, and that's where I'll be looking for this to go today uh, on a first push. I think that that's quite a good idea, and if that happens, then obviously this is going to carry uh, dollar cad down to 138.85. I think that's probably quite an easy trade for this one to do, should that oil rally. So Aussie's a good one as well. Uh, I like this. I like the movement in this one. We're kind of 
nicely moving. We've gone 118 now, pull back, and now we're going to go again. So 171, 90 is my zone. I've got that as a good level of there, up there as well. So that's my D on my 60 minute chart. So if I just zoom in and show you. So we've had that first little blip and then the pullback and then we go to 71.50. Obviously, if we hold here, well, this could just be a retest. So 71.65, I think it's probably quite a good sell zone. If you get into there and blip lower, then I think then you could come back and take on this 38 down at 70.30. So if you get back down there, there's good buys down there. And that's certainly a good buy zone and will be in my buy zone um, in terms of my watch charts. I'll be looking to buy that. Should that get down back down to 70.30? Obviously, if it hits the D, it hits the D and I've missed that trade. But no, uh, no big shake in that in terms of that. Kiwi, an interesting one as well. Just sideways, we're now back at the top of the range. As I said to you before, I like 66.30 as a level. That's actually come down a bit. I like it a bit lower now. So maybe 66.60, 66.70. So where we're running into that past market angle in terms of the day and also my moving averages that I've got in, uh, which have been holding very well as well. So this one's just currently a sideways market. We'll just show you the screen. We're kind of just at the top here. So 66, this sort of 66.65 area. 65 65 area sorry as you can see we've had had these tops formed and i think this could just roll over so again a lower 15 minute high would, would i think would um would take this one lower and then you could see it could sell it through the low so that's kiwi um so what are we looking at overall so maybe we do have a bit of a rally this morning in the euro and then we roll over cable i think maybe has a pullback and goes dolly yen looks like it just wants to continue but i can't get into that at the moment Dollar CAD looks like we have got a bit more room to the downside, especially if um, especially if WTI rallies. Uh, I think that's a good good trade down to 138.38. I think we talked 138.80. I think we talked about um, Aussie dollar. I think it's got a bit more in it to the top side, a little bit more. And Kiwi, I just think, is at the top of its range. So maybe we play Kiwi, the yen, uh, and potentially the uh, which is the other one, the euro as potential weak currencies. And then I'd be looking at potential pound strength, uh, and also maybe Aussie and Canadian dollar strength today. So. Please join me on Sunday where I'll be going through all my weekly analysis and kind of how I set up for the week. So how I'll spot those trades from of pound yen from 168 to 174 that I called on Sunday. Um, so come and join me for those. They should be interesting. I kind of go through more how I start to chart, uh, but they'll be they'll be pretty interesting. And click subscribe for further videos. I'm going to go over to my vir the virtual floor now where, again, you can find a link in the description. So come and join me there. Um, and I hope that's been useful, guys. So happy trading. Thanks very much.